Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining me I'm Katie and it's an up crate kind of day today it really does just feel like it was perhaps a couple of weeks ago since I did the last one time is going crazy fast right now anyway let's get in the box shall we so it was a bit of a heavy one and I'm like what is in here and it's that great big whopping fat sketch pad which was weighing it down which is pretty cool this month's co-captain and featured artist for Upcrate is Blind Wolves and they are a sculpted well they're a bit of a mixed media in general and they're from Athens Greece and I really like the picture that came with it I also particularly like the green sticker that came this month but let's talk about the filling of this box shall we the sketchbook is a Sakura sketch and it is 21 by 14.8 centimeters the paper inside is a cream white and it's 140 GSM acid free paper it also says it's pretty good for pencil oil pastel charcoal all the good stuff so that's good to know we also have a Kohenor hard hard mouth hard mouth I never know how to say that 1900 graphite pencil in a 2h that's all guess all you need to know we also have a rather fancy pencil sharpener and eraser which I think is pretty good actually it's not a bad little sharpener Plus, considering my desk sharpener's just died, actually that's kind of nice to have knocking about. It's always good to have a sharpener. The liner pen that we get this month is an Artline Drawing System Pen 0.2 and it's pretty much like your Sakura kind of pens. It's water-based pigment, but it's water-resistant and fade-proof and all the good stuff you want from a liner pen. And of course, the main star of the show are the Chameleon Fine Liners, and they come in a six pack natural colours scheme. The colours included are a OL3, which is like an olive green, a GR4, which is like a, a deeper green, an NU0, which I'm assuming is a nude colour, a BR1, a BR3, and a BR5, which I'm gonna say are brown tones. Now I have featured these before on a scroll box unboxing so I'll, I'll leave a link or I'll put it in the end card at the end if you're not familiar with that and I'm not a massive fan of these they're, they're just not a good fit with me I think this box though has got some good stuff in it I think we've got a nice good amount of material so I'm happy with that but these fine liner pens for me they're a bit of a gimmick they don't really do it for me and I kind of don't see the point and that's for me personally I I don't do hand lettering or anything like that and I think they'd be amazing for that but as far as drawing and art materials I oh I don't know I, I like doing drawings with fine pens but I kind of like it to stay consistent but that is just my opinion so this month's upcrate battle prompt is landscape imagination oh boy landscapes are not really something i do and to be honest whenever i've attempted them they kind of suck but putting that aside i shall remain dutiful to this prompt and i will do my darn best to try and do something pretty cool with it so first of all I've sketched a figure because that has absolutely everything to do with landscapes right? No, okay so this is a bit more of a conceptual abstracty type piece here and I kind of thought her hair could have the landscape in it and that could be like her imagination of a landscape and, and I thought I'd do a nice starry evening background so it, it's like she's dreaming it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. The idea in my head was good and when it came onto paper it, it translated well. So I decided to make this drawing over two sheets of the paper because one of the features of this sketchbook is it's a good old lie flat one, which in all fairness it does. And I went for a centre centre page of a signature, so I wouldn't have it wouldn't be on two separate pages of paper if that makes any sense but yeah if I'm going to do a long picture I'd prefer to do it 
over where the stitches are. That makes better sense, doesn't it? So after sketching out roughly where I wanted things, I went in there with the art line fine liner and started filling that background in and I excluded the areas where I had the stars and just little sparkly bits to try and add a bit of texture and not kill the pen straight away by making it a solid black I incorporated different lines of textures and I'd have a few lines of markings going one way and going another way on another few lines and another way on top of that and then just to make that outline around the figure and the stars etc a little bit more pronounced I went round it in a thicker line again and I'm quite happy I did that I think that looks quite cool to continue the eveningy nighty sky thing I've got going on there I added gaps within our character's hair where there would be strands of the starry sky behind it because I didn't want it to just be a solid landscape in her hair I wanted it to still look like hair as well and I also like the contrast it gives of this black and white up against the colours of the liner pens and also it just makes all the different textures I'm going to be using stand out a little bit more because it, it can easily get a little overwhelming. Now I really did go to town with all the mark making and line work on here especially with that black pen and unfortunately I do think that this challenge killed that pen straight away. It doesn't help that it's kind of quite warm here in the UK at the moment. I mean at least we haven't got these horrific storms going on but it's still hot and muggy and it can dry some pens out quite quickly and I don't think that helped. I spent a good few hours on this drawing so that's a long time for the cap to be off that pen. But anyway that is the background completed and as you can see it just breaks up the page somewhat and I don't know it just gets the eye drawn across the page rather than it just sort of statically looking at the image head on your eyes naturally gonna go from left to right and that's what I was hoping would happen anyway now let's talk about these pens so I thought it would be quite hard to do a landscape with these pens because yes you've got all those nice earthy tones of the land and you've got like the greens as well of all any plant life that could be there but it's really hard to perhaps suggest there's a sky and that's kind of kind of where I struggled a little bit on here and yeah I didn't think that was a particularly brilliant match but it, it's not the end of the world it's okay everything's still gonna get used up and everything but I think for this particular challenge yeah that that was quite that was quite hard but it's okay I, I still I still did it and I'm quite pleased with having to use the old grey matter to try and figure out how I'd go about it I kept the forms of the background very simplified so we, we've just got very basic hills going on here and a basic tree basic trees and very just very basic because of all the patterns and markings that I was going to put in there I didn't want it to get lost in all the all of these details that I was putting on top and I've got a nice variety of colors to do a different color for each hill for the hill that's closer towards us and what I'm working on now I used both of the green tones because it's close to us I can afford to add a few more details in right now my only major criticism was one of the chameleon pens didn't really show up on the cream paper and that was the NU0 pen and it, it did if you really really worked on one area for a while and I did use it on the top of the hills and you can just about make out there's a slight difference but if you were just doing a single line it, it didn't massively show up and yeah that just seemed a bit of a shame really but it's not the end of the world I can still use them on other things as for using the chameleon pens in their chameleon capacity I did try a few times but it, it just wasn't it just wasn't it's they're just not my kind of pen and I'm I'm not like hugely enamored with the alcohol markers to be honest but they are they are good markers to work with and these are nice fine liners to work with so that's not the problem it's just it's just the gimmick it just it 
it just doesn't do it for me. But that's okay because I still really enjoyed this box. I decided to give our character just a black dress and just suggest a few shadows with that nude pen but I really 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 did have to go over that area quite a lot. And also you can tell on the dress where that black pen starts to die. But it's okay, it's, it's done a lot. It's, I can't criticise it. I've had pens do this before and it's just part of it. It had a good life. I used the very very light brown one to add some streaks into the sky and that was it, we were done. So what do I think of this month's box? I don't think it's a bad one actually, I like the sketch pad, I got some use out of them chameleon pens, it's sad the pen died, the black liner died, but you know, that happens. I like the sharpening, I like the box, it was good, not my materials, but still enjoyed it and that's what it's about. So I just want to say a massive thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the contents and what you think of what I did with them. and. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, I ask this every time, but please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoy watching my videos and you haven't yet. Anyway, I shall see you on the next one. Bye.